Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice polynomial system. We have x plus y equals 5 and 2x squared plus 5xy plus 2y squared equals 56. And we're going to solve for x and y values. I'll be presenting two methods and this time let's start with the second method. All right, so for my second method, I'm going to go ahead and take the quadratic and factor it. Why? Because it's factorable. Now, how do you factor quadratics? There's a couple different ways to go about it. But if you look at the coefficients 2, 5, and 2, here's what we do first. Multiply the 2 and the 2. That gives us a 4, and that's called the product. And we write that number here. And then 5 is called the sum, and we write that number here. Now, you need to find two numbers whose product is 4 and whose sum is 5. Can you find them? Those numbers are 4 and 1 or 1 and 4, doesn't matter which one. That kind of gives us a way to break down the 5. So we're going to write this as 2x squared plus 4xy plus xy, which is 4xy plus 1xy, plus 2y squared. Now we're going to factor by grouping, take out 2x, you get 2x, not 2x, just x, plus 2y, and then plus, here the common factor is y, you get x plus 2y which means you have x plus 2y multiplied by 2x plus y. And this is equal to 56 because it's given, right? Great. Now, being able to factor this is a, a good thing, but we now have a system as follows, right? And to be able to solve the system, we're going to use a really cool trick. And that's this is what it is. I'm going to call this A and I'm going to call that B. So that implies a b equals 56 but this gives us another good thing if i add a and b i get from symmetry 3x plus 3y so a plus b is 3x plus 3y because this is a and this is b right makes sense so we now kind of got a different system but guess what we know that x plus y is equal to 5 so a plus b is going to be 3 times x plus y. Since x plus y is 5, from here we're going to get a plus b equals 15. Make sense? Put that down here, and now you have a really nice system, right? And we can solve it just by thinking about it, vieta or guess and check. Uh, find two numbers whose product is 56, and among those, uh, you need to get a sum of 15. So a is equal to 8. B is equal to 7, very easy to guess, right? Or vice versa. So those are going to be the choices. But what does that mean? A equals 8 implies 2x plus y is equal to 8. And x plus 2y is equal to 7. If you go ahead and solve the system, I could multiply the second equation by negative 2. And then that's going to give me the first equation. And actually, I could probably do it this way, which is seems a little easier. I can just copy this and this equation is going to be negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 14. Let me share with you something from high school. When I learned systems, I don't know which grade, probably 8th or ninth grade, I was always, I always forgot to multiply by the constant and I always got it wrong. I'm like, why am I getting this wrong, right? Anyway, that's something that I experienced before. So, and I ended up being a math teacher uh, for some time at least. So, from here we get y equals 2 and if you plug in y equals 2, you're going to get x equals 3. Make sense? So that's going to be our solution. And if you switch them around, right, from symmetry, we're going to get x equals 2 and y equals 3. Make sense? Awesome. So that basically gives us two ordered pairs that are solutions. Again, I mean, if you want, you can solve the system by switching these around, but the result is not going to change. Only x and y will be switched around because we're just switching the values. Make sense? Great. So that was the second method. Now let's go ahead and talk about the first method. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and use substitution, right? For our second method, we used factoring. And of course, after factoring, we used elimination. And now we're going to use substitution. So that's kind of fair, right? Now to be able to use substitution, I'm going to isolate y. I hope you know why. That equals 5 minus x, and then I can go ahead and substitute that here, right? And here. So 2x squared plus 5x times y, which is 5 minus x, 
plus 2y squared, which is 2 times 5 minus x squared, all equals 56. So this is a quadratic in x, single variable, easy to solve. Let's do it. 2x squared plus 25x minus 5x squared plus, now this is going to be 25 plus x squared minus 10x. If you double everything, 50 plus 2x squared minus 20x, all of that is equal to 56. Let's see if anything cancels out. Not really. These two add up to 4 minus 5. That's going to be a negative x squared. 25x minus 20x is 5x. That's a positive or plus 5x, right? And then finally, we have a 50. Subtract 56. You're going to get minus 6 equals 0. Awesome. Let's multiply both sides by negative 1 to make this equation more friendly. And now we get a quadratic, which is factorable. Again, find two numbers, so on and so forth. And x equals 2 from here, or x equals 3. Of course, x plus y is equal to 5, or y equals 5 minus x. If x is 2, y is 3. And if x is 3, y is 2. Which gives us the exact same solutions. All right? And let's go ahead and take a look at something real cool, and we'll finish up. And ta-da! The graph of these two relations, or should I say functions, I think relations is better word, and the intersection points, as you can see, at x equals 2 and x equals 3. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.